Yo, what it is, guys? Your boy Roll Jay Z. So, for today's video, it's a little different. So, I want to show you guys this little gadget that I found. Well, gadget slash tool that I found on um, eBay. So, it's from a guy called Racer Pro Quip. So, it's a cool little gadget where you can cut your own spring pockets. And it's a lot cheaper than the one that you get, get from like OMB Warehouse or anybody else. They're around $150, the pro version. But the one that he has is only around like $30 to $40. So, I want to see if it works. So I want to showcase it to you guys. So, Let's get to it because, you know, if you enter the racing scene, like for us California people, we got machine stuff that can cut the pockets for us. So basically like $20, but it's a lot of people out of state that don't have a machine shop that's able to cut spring pockets for small engines. So I wanted to, if it works, y'all gonna see the video. If it don't, y'all might not see it, but if it don't work, I might post it, but who knows. But yeah, man, let's get into today's video. All right, so I'm right here working on my budget build motor. So um, we're gonna be working on this head from it. So. Here it is. Um, here is his name. Um, Racer Pro Quip. Um, it's on eBay only. So um, I bought from him. I bought from him a few times. Um, I brought like springs and some stuff like that. So um, like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I paid my own money for this stuff. So um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing. Hold on, bro. So he give you a candy. So. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side and treat ourselves a little later but you feel me this is the main event right here so all right so for what it is it look high quality so we're gonna um pop the springs out of my head and go from there but look i'm gonna tell y'all this right now i am not a professional i never use a spring cutting tool so and there's not a lot of information online to like how deep you want to cut the springs and stuff like that but i do got a visual idea because i do got another head that's cut so i can just basically go off of that because i think it's a few centimeters that you want to go down for the dual springs to sit in the head properly but um like i said i'm not a pro so take this out of grain of salt or you can find somebody um that knows how to do it so you can get information from him on how, how deep you want to cut the springs but it depends on what size size springs you have and all that type of stuff so um yeah man just do it at your own risk and i'm finna just do it because i got spare heads so it don't even matter if i do mess this head up but yeah man let's get to it you feel me all right so the way i remove springs and like with um 26 pound springs what you do is you want to get you like little bolt and you want to put it under the valve and have like a, a flat spot to lay the head on to something like that you want to get you a socket and just put the socket over top and just hammer it just hit it one good time and get this valve out the way or rocker so just hit it just like that the keepers pop out i don't know if y'all seen i had the camera in the wrong spot look and uh So for a predator head, they come with a five millimeter valve guide. So he said they will work with 5.5. So you got like an upgraded Tillerson head and you got 5.5 millimeter valve guide. You should be able to use this tool. But the head that I have is a predator head. So it comes with five millimeter valve guide. So we're gonna see if it works. So man, let's get to it. <laughs> Look at this. Alrighty, so we finna do it. Uh... It's cutting. So it don't take too much to cut for those springs. So that look about right. So hold on. All right, so we got two heads here. So this is the head that got done professionally by a machine shop. So um, I don't know if y'all can see the pockets on there. You see how much, you see that the top right? right there how much that lip is showing so yeah that's what i'm really basing it off of you see how much the lip is showing right there so let me show y'all mines so the lip is just showing a little bit more i did go a little deeper but y'all see the lip is about the same in the top right corner on this side right there the lip 
that's what I'm basing it off of. So, so like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, it's really no, it's really not a lot of information on how deep to cut the spring pockets and all that stuff. Even though I know that it is different types of springs, so it do require different measurements. But if anybody got an idea of how deep you need to cut the spring pockets, please let me know, and I will be using this motor. But y'all gotta stay tuned for that video. But man, let's go ahead and cut the other pocket in the head and let's get to it. You hear me? Alright, so the only thing I noticed, this is the head that was professionally done. You see like it got this lip, but it don't have another step lip. So look at this one. So it's a lip there, then it's a baby little lip right there. So that's the only thing that I noticed. It don't it don't do a complete cut right here. But like I said, like we go, I'm finna test it. I'll be the test dummy for you guys. But as you see, this is a professional done. This is the one done with the $150 um, spring pocket cutter. It's only one lip, and that's the lip that's holding this, the keeper in. As y'all can see, the keeper lip is there. Then it's another little baby lip way down there. So um, that's probably like the only little dilemma with it. I don't know if it, it might mess it up, but like I said, I'm going to be the test dummy for you guys. And we're going to go ahead and probably put the dual springs in this head and see what it do. Alright, so everything looking good already. So only thing I would probably not recommend you do is use the stock retainers on dual springs. They sell retainers that fit for dual springs. And another thing, um, with dual springs, do not do the aluminum retainers because over time they wear through. Aluminum is a soft, soft material, so use the titanium retainers so they last longer. You don't have to keep an eye on them. But yeah, man, um, let's go ahead and get the motor back and going. You feel me? Shush. Yeah, man, we're going to be ending the video right there. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank y'all for tuning in, and peace out.